Okay, it's now 2022. It is time to talk about sewing plans. I have already talked about style and silhouette in the previous video. So if you wanna hear about what I have planned for 2022 in sewing, please stay tuned. All right, everybody, there is a lot to cover in this video, but I want to say welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for finding the channel, hitting that subscribe button and liking the videos on your way out. I greatly appreciate it. So we're gonna jump into it. I have my notes and um, first things first, this is after the Packers game. I'm recording this after the Packers game and uh, just, just so heartbreaking. We should have won that game. Why do we choke in the playoffs? I don't know, but it was special teams. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I am, if you're a football fan, um, like I am NFL fan personally, and I'm a NFC uh obviously Packers. Um, but I am rooting for Matthew Stafford uh, because he used to play for the Detroit Lions and he would have never gotten as far in our division because it would have been in the Packers division not to be, you know, you know, conceited about it, but he just wouldn't have never gotten there. And so <laughs> I'm happy to see him get there at this time in his career. So I am pulling out for the Rams um, for the Super Bowl. Actually, I think they can squash uh uh, the 49ers, but we shall see. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so there is a lot to cover in this video. Like I said, I have my notes. Um, and um, thank you all for, I think I got through most of the comments or started going through the comments, hopefully by the time you see this video. Um, <laughs> but thank you all for the feedback on the um, 78 makes, my top makes from 2020. And then um, this past, uh, you're seeing this on Wednesday. So Sunday, you would have seen the style versus silhouette. I did catch one or two of those comments by the time you see this video. And actually what I'm wearing is, um, I just noticed I must've been slumped over. Anyway, um, this is the Style So Me Suzanne Top, which is a free free pattern. And this actually is a grown on sleeve, but I actually like the way, I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you. I actually like the way this sit. So, Dolman sleeves, grown on sleeves, I do agree with you all. <clears throat> when you are bustier, you definitely have to be careful of those type of designs and styles. But I think, again, it depends on, and this is a cotton, 100% cotton um that i have on and so um again it's that whole style versus silhouette and um and design of the pattern fabric choice fit all of that so yeah some dolmans some raglans well raglans look good on me uh this is a grown on sleeve and so um <clears throat> so this is not a raglan but um dolman sleeves Yes, I agree with um, the comments I've seen so far that yes, it can be a hit or miss and especially with the fabric choice that you select when you're bustier. But let me go ahead and get into this video. I will be looking down at my notes, um, hoping the video won't be exceptionally long, but we shall see. I will try to move through them quickly. Um, so yeah, that is um, where I want to start off with is, you know, kind of the discussion from last um, uh, video that you would have seen. Um, oh, also, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, if you checked out my homepage of the... Um, of my channel I have a new logo I have a new logo um, this has been in the work since last year um, you all know I've talked about this especially if you saw my Sunday reset video um, that I am a planner and you wouldn't believe the things I have in my notebook already that my I just do brain dumps I just do brain dumps. Whether they come to fru fruition, anybody sees them, they come realize it doesn't matter. Um, anything that I feel that, especially if I've been praying about something specifically, and then I feel like I get a download from the Holy Spirit, I'm writing it down. Whether it comes to fruition or not. And so um, the whole logo thing has been in the works 
very long time since last year um, I've always wanted a very specific logo and again it did not really come in full picture until I had my colors on and when I got my glasses y'all know I had these glasses for what a little over a year and a half now or something but anyway and so the look let me know what y'all think of the logo put it put comments down below with that I was also able to update my intro and in that different type thing and so I love the new intro let me know what you think about the intro I do love the new intro because that second part of the intro um I can easily switch out the pictures when I'm feeling like it but that first part love I love it so definitely uh let me know what you all think um and so yeah uh the other thing is as you all know bhm pattern designers is challenge is starting uh is it a week from your seeing this no february 1st um so less than a week so if you have not visited my website make sure you visit the website many of you are um i understand are on the newsletter list <clears throat> so you have already seen the fabrics um that um designs that are coming out and you would have already seen the new garment labels now the garment labels i have went ahead and made those live because those will be uh, available all year round on the website um but so feel, feel free to check those out. Um, I'll try to remember to leave the, the link to, I'll leave a link to BHM Pattern Designers because I want y'all to be prepared. I've been talking about this for how many months now? All right, now show me some love. Like the video if you've already looked up the information from BHM Pattern Designers. And if you have not looked up the information for BHM Pattern Designers Challenge, just hit the subscribe button because you're about to hear more about it here very soon. Um, so those will be available all year round. So I'll leave a link to both the um, About the Sewing Challenge, which starts February 1st, um, and February 2nd is a Wednesday. So I'll come in with all my plans and all the information. If you're following on Instagram, you would have already seen me post about the ambassadors and start posting things to gear up for the challenge. So yeah, follow on Instagram as well um, and Facebook. And then um, I'll also leave a separate link to where you can see the new garment labels. Um, so yeah, very excited about all of that. But that is information that is coming up. So my sewing plans for this year is not um what i'm sharing with you today is not necessarily oh here are the patterns i'm gonna sew and that type thing because you'll see that as a i'm while i am a planner i'm not a set in stone monthly sewing planner except for bhm pattern designers or if I'm doing a specific collaboration or a challenge, then I know for that month at that particular time, I will be, you know, focusing in on that very specific thing. <clears throat> so, um, getting into uh, the first thing. So, let's get into one of the first things that I want to um, address for my 2022 plans. So, this year I'm very excited to make more of an effort. You probably saw it last year because you all know I absolutely love um, how many times I've I went on and on about costume jewelry and different jewelry that I wear. And, um, you know, I show that and I tried, <laughs> although I fell off, um, with the whole... Um, uh the uh the whole get ready with me type thing but not really that's not my thing so i'm not gonna try that <laughs> but at any rate i do um love talking about the accessories and everything because when i do make a garment as many of you you don't make a garment and when you put it on that's the only thing you have on it's not like you don't do your hair you don't do your makeup you don't put on some accessories different things of that nature and so that's the lifestyle part so if you saw the new banner and everything on my youtube channel you know that it says sewing and lifestyle so i will be again um making uh incorporating um the whole accessorizing the outfits as i started that last year um and then other things that i absolutely love and if you follow on instagram I've been going on and on about this for several weeks and that is um scents and fragrances I absolutely I'm a body butter cream junkie and um there are certain scents that I absolutely love I love the fruity florals I love the um um with the hints of the gourmand scents and all of that type of thing and so um and so I do buy that in body butters and body creams, things of that nature. But I'm also getting back into fragrances and different scents. And so 
I have just, I don't know what happened. Um, I feel like the lid has exploded back off on that for me because I only had a couple in my collection, but I was like, why? It was, you know, certain things I wear, maybe you're like this. If you're like this, leave this down in the comments that it's, that piece that garment might bring a certain like oh i'm feeling like this today and so i want to smell like this today this garment this whatever is bringing me this mood this vibe and so it's going to be a whole vibe and i'm going to be sharing with you in my makes videos um you know and here's the the scent vibe the scent vibe the scent of the day that is going with that particular garment and so yeah i'm very excited about that and i have been buying um not a lot of fragrances but if you follow me on instagram i talked about um buying um discovery sets which are sample sizes they're very small maybe what is it 0 0.06 0 0.07 ounces where you can buy discovery sets in certain um maybe house fragrances a certain house of fragrance maybe a designer fra fragrance maybe a niche fragrance um you can buy samples and so that's what i do and unless there's a scent because there are scents that i absolutely love that i used to wear used to be my um signature scents, and for whatever reason i don't know why i stopped i have no good reason i don't know i don't know if i fell off because for those who don't know side story um uh bear with me i used to work at bath and body works for seven years part-time in wisconsin um uh, when I had a full-time job, I wasn't doing YouTube or anything at the, was I doing YouTube? I could have still been doing YouTube and just never mentioned it. Or maybe I have in like some of my way early videos. I don't know. But, um, when I worked at Bath and Body Works, I never liked the fragrance mist, the sprays and everything. Cause it just smelled like straight up alcohol. You spraying out of a bottle to me, but the body creams was something I've all, I always loved when I worked there. And plus, you know, I learned, um, layering different fragrances there. That's, you know, one of the things they teach you and my managers and everything were the bomb. I love working there. We were like a big old family. And so what the, what the managers and stuff had taught me, I remember back then, this was so many years ago um <clears throat> how to layer um fragrances you would get from a department store high-end store with stuff like bath and body works because that actually helped with the sales of products but anyway that's just a little little side story little inside info but anyway i remember you know during those, that time i was all into that don't know why i fell off um maybe after i left i just i don't i don't know anyway so you will see more of that that's what i'm talking about uh for lifestyle you will get a little incorporation of that um in videos even when i'm dressing down um because yesterday i put on you know took me a bath had my lounge clothes on and i sprayed on um uh replicas lazy sunday perfect lounge day fragrance but anyway then the other thing and I will give an update I will say there were some I don't want to miss this there were a few that do want to see an update of my skincare routine because I did do a over 40 skincare routine and I asked if people were interested you know not a lot of people saw that video which is okay you all know I'm all about if I enjoy something I'm putting out the video if a couple hundred y'all see it that's good for me thank you for the comments thank you for the feedback because i will be bringing back at the end of the quarter you know um how that skincare worked for me and i will probably start doing quarterly favorites um maybe um and those those will be a combination of my sewing favorites maybe tools patterns different things of that nature and also um skincare fragrances different things of that nature so those will be coming just so you know for those who are not interested in that although the current favors will be a combo um video of sewing and non-sewing related things but specific you know if i get in do a specific video about um uh fragrances whatever oh there go my neighbor jogging but anyway um <clears throat> yeah you can skip those videos but anyway so far as sewing one of the things i will be getting back into and i will be doing here again march remember i have mentioned it before i would do quarterly closet purges um yeah i haven't done it since uh last year i told you i did it in in july and i never showed that video to y'all um and i probably won't i'm probably just gonna scrap that video 
unless a lot of people are interested in seeing it i'm gonna scrap it it's old <laughs> it's from july of last year all of that stuff is long gone been donated um if you're interested in that maybe i can throw it up as an extra video in in march but i am gonna do another closet. i am gonna go back to doing the closet purges um if you saw my silhouette versus style video there are certain garments and certain pieces that just be and i've said this in my previous closet purge videos due to the fit the style change um i'm not interested anymore maybe it's the colors maybe it's something a plethora of uh different reasons that i will start purging my closet this time when i purge my closet by the then um, I'll know for sure if I'll do a shop my closet piece on my website because there are certain garments that I don't mind posting um, for sale on my website but a majority of them will just go um, to the women's uh, shelter that I found here and um, program well it's a program that distributes to women in shelters and other places. But, and then also what I think might not be quite nice enough for that. Maybe it'll go to the Goodwill. So yeah, either way, there's going to be more closet purging happening in 2022. I will be continuing with my mood board. As you all know, I'm currently working in my uh, fall winter mood board. As you all know, getting sick um for the first few weeks i wasn't sewing at all obviously um and so a lot of things are kind of pushed back so but what i am going to do and you'll see this in my uh, upcoming bhm pattern designers um uh, sewing plans is that there are a couple uh patterns from my um um, mood board selection that are actually black pattern designers. I'm just going to finish those in February, <laughs> two of those in February. That is the plan. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I figure why not? It, you know, and it's purple and yeah, you will see my plans for BHM pattern designers. You will see most of my sewing for this year, the color scheme. Now y'all I'm settled in. Y'all saw Pantone, I will pop up this picture, had announced their color of the year, this Perry color of the year, which has a more of a, um, when you go to Pantone, I'll leave a link down to it in the description box. But when you go to Pantone, they talk about the color of the year. It has more of a um, navy undertone or something in that purple that's what we call net purple and um you all know it started with when i did my plans for my sewing mood board for um fall winter i said there would be a lot of purple in 2022 so yeah that was already a thing for me for 2022 but anyway pantone got on board uh but anyway uh so the next thing is knitting so um you all know if you uh, remember my a previous video i had mentioned and called out one of my subscribers karen and about um uh knitting she had reached out and i didn't get her message for whatever reason but anyway guess what karen and i did hook up in december it was early december early part of december we did hook up she did teach me some um knitting we do have plans to um get together again um obviously it's not going to be until after bhm pattern designers but we do have plans to get together again it's a local place here that video is um i was planning to have that video because i want to show you what i did knit um <laughs> but obviously everything is a little delayed starting off the new year so that video i decided just to hold off because i did record um karen and i getting together what i worked on and then um i want to share with you what i did finish and so um the one thing I did finish uh, at her suggestion. And so that video will, it'll just come in March. It'll just come in March. Be prepared for that. Um, because I do want to get into um, um, knitting. Not to not that I want to make a bunch of knitting garments. But I do like um, the idea of making um, gifting infinity scarves, gloves, and socks, that type thing, to my family back in Wisconsin, um, and stuff like that. So, and there were other things like, um, like the dish towels, really nice dish towels, but yeah, anyway, knitting. 
knitting 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 in 2022 uh you will hear and see more about that coming up soon but like i said that karen and i were able to get together thank you karen um and i will share all of that that video was recorded back in december <clears throat> so i'll share all of that um uh the results of that in march um there will be more youtube made me sew it videos that was so fun to do i did the adrian blouse was my first youtube made me sew it uh video and because there are um uh, a lot of videos uh on youtube that i watch don't always get to comment on them you guys i do watch your videos you other makers out there i don't always get a chance to comment um but there are different makes that I see and different stuff like that, that I see multiple YouTubers making. And I'm like, I want to try that because I do like, um, after seeing it made up, there are certain, I mentioned this before, I've had patterns or seen patterns where I'm like, okay, when it came out, I was like, ooh, not cute or mm, not feeling that. But then after I've seen it made up multiple times in different ways, then I'm like, I like it. And so yeah, there will be more. YouTube made me sew it. Definitely let me know if you like that um, content because that was fun to do. And um, I do love that Adrian um, blouse, which I still have plans to make that into a dress for sure. So that is coming. My Sunday reset uh, sewing videos. Uh, that was fun. That was fun to do. I really like that. I told you that idea um, was spurred on by other content creators I watch, not sewing because I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I will say while I was sick, um, I was able to watch a lot of YouTube videos. Didn't comment on a lot because you for y'all who stream your um, YouTube to TV, um, you just build up your watch list and the video just come on after video after video. And some, you can comment on your phone. It does make commenting a little easier because you can just comment on your phone while it's streaming. Um, but sometimes I don't do that. I'm just there, like I'm just watching TV. Phone is down and I'm just looking. Oh yeah, and you know, stuff starts sticking in my head. But anyway, so, um, definitely excited about the sunday reset videos i'm glad you all like that format many of you uh did mention you did like that format if you missed my sunday uh reset sewing vlog video i will leave a link to it up here in the icards go check that out let me know what you think you have leave a comment over there or here and um let me know what you think about that those will be one to two a month i'm thinking for the most part i will do those once a month um because I think I want to use those as a setup for what I'm thinking about for the following month and what's been going on in the month. We shall see. Um, but at a minimum, at least there will be one video of those a month. But yeah, stay tuned. Uh, sew alongs. I want to address this. Yes, I want to address this. Remember last year, guys, I said that... Um, you know, I might pull back on doing so longs or, you know, in 2022, I'll start doing so longs again. Uh, let me just be honest because of the type of content, um, that, um, I'll be doing that I'm looking forward to doing. There will probably be no more so alongs. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, there are exceptions. The exception is if I decide to do, um, if there is a collaboration with a pattern company, um, a brand, something of that nature, and you know, it's talked about or discussed and, um, cause I don't mind doing so alongs. Here's the thing. Let me put this out here. I don't mind doing them, but couple things they take time and um the editing process and all of that which you all love to my um so long format so thank you for that thank you for that feedback i have several of them on my channel um and so i'll leave a couple playlists i have ones for handbags as well as for um garments so i'll leave them down in the description box down below um but i'm just finding you do have to prepare to do the sew along. Um, and so because I'm a planner, I don't plan for sew alongs like other things. And so, like I said, there will be exceptions here and there. So don't be shocked if you see a sew along, but 
so far as me saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a, these, this and that so long, da 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 da. No, I, I'm not. And um, however, what I will attempt to do, because I know a lot of people like this as well, certain things that I make, if there's a step or something that I'm doing or how I approach the step, I will record that while I'm sewing, just as an add-in to put in the video. Um, especially if it's a very specific pattern review type video, I will just record that piece and add it in there so you can see it. Um, and so, yeah, but outside of that, no, I am so sorry, no sew alongs, um, yeah. I'm kind of veering away from those. But like I said, don't count it completely out. There will be some collaborations. I'm gonna talk about those here. There will be some um, um, brand collaborations, company collaborations, different things of that nature um, coming up this year. And that's another thing I wanna mention. There will be expansion of brand collaborations, pattern um, collaborations. I'm still gonna do collaborations with other sewists and different things of that nature, um, but talking about pattern companies, brands, different things of that nature, you will see that content rolling out on the channel as well. So don't be shocked by that. Speaking of which, if you made it this far to the video, there is a giveaway. Um, one of the companies that I collaborated with last year, I am collaborating again with this year, is Mrs. H Sewing Patterns, Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H. And so um, there is a gift card for the Bag of the Month Club. Um, I know many of you um, follow along with the Bag of the Month Club and always look for that sub uh, subscription to roll out for the quarters, you know, I think it rolls out three times a year. I think there's one quarter that there isn't a Bag of the Month Club, I think. But anyway, there is a giveaway. I have a gift card. Thank you to um, Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H uh, for this gift card that I am able to offer to my subscribers. As you all know, the obviously the first uh, collection of the Bag of the Month Club has come out. However, um, as before, the gift card um, you can use, it doesn't expire. So you can use it um, for this Bag of the Month Club or maybe the, it's the next one. Um, so no rush to redeem it. But if you are interested in the Bag of the Month Club uh, subscription uh, gift card, just go ahead and leave Bag of the Month gift card down below. I'll put that on the screen and I will draw a winner. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I will draw, I'll leave it open at least for, because you're seeing this on the Wednesday. I will, let me look at my phone to see what's a good time. Um for you to for me to close it out so if you see this on january 26 at least let me give you a week i'll announce it in my sewing buzz video and you all know my sewing buzz videos will no longer be on the first of the month i've switched those to the first sunday of the month makes it much easier for me to stick to my normal upload schedule which if you didn't know is every sunday and wednesday at 10 a.m central standard time so i will announce the winner on sunday uh february 6th how about that so i'll leave it open until um friday February 4th. So the um, giveaway will close on Friday, February 4th, and I will announce the winner on um, Sunday in the sewing buzz. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And speaking of collaborations, I you will see on Sunday, that should still be the plan coming up. Um, I will, there's a new pattern that um, company that's new to me um, that reached out to me that I will be sharing with you um, one of their patterns coming up on Sunday. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. There will be more of those type things. I'm still a Rebecca Page brand ambassador. You all know I absolutely love um, the patterns and stay tuned because there is a good one coming out. It was a good, it, I thought it was gonna be launched um, uh, late last year, but it's not, it's, it's coming and it's good. I made a couple of them already. So, but anyway, Stay tuned for that. I'm still a Rebecca Page brand ambassador. That has not changed. I'm still a Minerva brand ambassador. And so Minerva Fabrics. So um, actually the one of the makes I'll be sharing with you on Sunday is um, one of my Minerva uh, fabrics that I received, which I've already shared with you. So stay tuned for that. Um, I am happy to announce my new uh, company collaboration is with 
destashify. So I'm sure maybe if you follow um, um, Whip Makes and Tomcat Stitchery, um, you have already seen and heard about Destashify. It's a wonderful online store. Carrie reached out to me to um, become a brand ambassador uh, for Destashify. Um, what was it? When was it? Uh, I'm getting my, my times mixed up. Doesn't matter. But anyway, she had reached out to me. And so, um, yeah, I am very excited that um, I will become a, that I am now a brand ambassador for um, Destashify. Now, one of the things I do want to point out about Destashify, I do have a couple fabrics I'm going to share with you that I have already received um, that I will be making things up for one, which will be for BH and Pattern Designers. But um, there is... Um, the fabric that I'm sharing with you today, um, when you, uh, when I share the fabric, one of the things you want to keep in mind is most of the fabrics that I'm sharing with you is one time purchase. So whatever the lot that is available on the website, that is what you get. What I, um, hope to do and hope to share with you and really, um, help promote the love that Carrie has for her business for Destashify, um, is that, you can get a good handle and good vision of the types and quality of fabrics that she has available on her website. And I will say, this is my first time getting fabric from Destashify. I will say the fabric I um, picked up, absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous absolutely perfect i have a couple pieces here that i want to share with you and i actually there was actually one thing i need to grab i had to run and get this other piece but um i will get more into detail about destashify um in future videos but high high level the notes that i have down they um you can destashify your apparel um your uh quilting fabric, yarn, patterns, sewing kits, different things of that nature, notions, tools, um, and much more. So make sure I'll leave a link to destashify.com, the website, as well as her Instagram, because you can just see the different types of things um, that Carrie is putting up there and how um, she is curating her uh, business. So thank you again so much, Carrie, for these items. I do want to share with you um, the couple items. And like I said, I will go more into detail uh, on everything um, in a future video. But the, the pieces that I did pick up um, are the lavender. This is a um, spandex jersey. You can probably already know what color family these fabrics are going to be. But this is a lavender multi-cotton spandex jersey. And this is the one I will be using in my... Um, uh, for BHM pattern designers next month. So you'll see more about that um, in, you know, next month. Uh, but this is the different colors. And so obviously you all know that purple and that pink stood out to me. And I know exactly what I plan to um, make with this. And so, yeah, like I said, make sure you stay tuned for that. Then I also picked up, it is called a pink and purple Allison Glass Cotton Lawn Border Print. There was one and a half yards of this left um, um, that she had out there. So I went ahead and picked this up. And so I thought this border print, uh oh, me, can you see that? Nope, you can't. Let me, here we go. It's only one and a half yards. So this will be a top. I haven't figured out what kind of top just yet, but isn't that beautiful? That is so so pretty that is oh, that color is absolutely gorgeous absolutely love 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 that um and like i said that is um this is a border print and then the last piece i picked up when i saw this i was like oh i know what i want to do i know what i want to do the last piece i picked up was this pink oxford shirting um with white stripes if you've been following you've been watching the channel you already seen this in another color so this is it with the white stripes. So this here, pink Oxford cotton shirting with white pinstripes. I have one and a half yards of this that was left of this lot. That's what was left of this lot. And remember I show, share with you from LA Finch Fabrics, they had um, gifted me some fabric um, sent, um, sent over to me. Um, and it was this purple pinstripe, same thing same uh fabric you know design just a different colorway see that 
And I asked in that video, what do you think I should make? I think it was my purple stash video. I'll link to that above. You want to see all the purple fabric um, at the time I had in my stash. And so many of you suggested, because I said I wanted to play around with the stripes. Because um, I'm not a big pattern uh, stripe matcher and taking time to do that pure laziness most of it but anyway um and many of you said a, a shirt because i forgot i think i only have a yard and a half of this or is it two I, i'll have to remeasure but anyway the pinstripes and everything this is the exact same fabric except for two different colorways exact same fabric two different colorways absolutely beautiful and so many of you said like a, a shirt dress or a shirt where you can do some color blocking and guess what if you saw my video on um, Sunday where I showed you my McCall pattern haul, I picked up this pattern, 7751. Um, I'll pop up the picture again. But let me show, turn it over to the back. Look at that color blocking. Ah, so that, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to color block this. Um, I'm going to have, um, I want probably white cuffs and a white collar um and that's about as deep into white that i get because i don't like wearing white but a white cuff and a white collar um maybe a white placket we shall see or i might make the placket two-tone based on the way the pattern looks it looks like i can do that um but i'm thinking i can have some fun with this color blocking with these two fabrics so thank you again carrie for the fabric like i said i will go into more detail about destashify and all of that um next month um in, in one of my videos so make sure you stay tuned for that so yeah that is it those are my sewing plans um as you can tell very loose um the other big thing that if you have not if you're not on my newsletter list you will have not seen or heard this just quite yet you might have seen um comments in in one of my vid my previous video but i am so excited and this will affect my sewing plans obviously um but we are moving the husband and i are moving we're staying here in texas however this has been in the process since last year um you all know i don't really share that side of my life or whatever on the channel um but i will give that update um, that the husband and I are looking to move and purchase our home. And so, um, as you all know, I've said this many a times, I don't like renting. Um, <laughs> and we owned a home back in Wisconsin, you know, and everything. Um, but, um, we've been here long enough now coming up on six years this year, I think it's six years that we'll be here. And, um, we're, we're ready. Last year we decided, we started looking and the funny part is, quick story sidebar, we were focused on the area that we are in now because we do like the area and we were looking at, um, we decided on new build, new construction and months, spent months looking at all these plans in this area and everything and come to find out with my husband's new job, he got late last year. Um, it's in the area that's far from here. And so what we decided to do instead of looking in, sorry, my camera cut off, instead of looking where exactly his job is, cause we didn't want to move that far over. Um, we decided to meet in the middle. And so that's what we did, which meant we had to, and if anybody who lived down here, y'all know everything around here is like an hour to get to this place and that place. Everything is so far apart. So what we were focusing on is the area we we're looking at totally not the area we're going to be in. So now we've switched gears late last year to look in the area we've decided on. And so now that the process has now this past last week, actually, some things transpired that's kicking us into higher gear and so that is what i will be working on behind the scenes um you know life things going on um that we will be again doing because what that will mean is that at some point i will not be uploading videos um i probably will you know up into the point where you know 
it's time for us to start like packing packing we're starting to really go through things you all know how you do you start you know de-stashing things in your house goodwill garbage whatever the case may be um and everything and so we did do that last year though um we did a good clean through but i think we need to get a little bit more rough with it meaning we need hardcore go it's gone it's gone no we're not keeping no we're not you know that type thing and so up to the point right now i think i'm pretty good through march april maybe i don't know i don't know i know through february i'm good through february bhm pattern designers um but you'll learn in that video that that is one of the reasons I pull back on a lot of things for BHM because I just have too much other things going on. And plus work is um, exceptionally busy right now. Um, but um, so, yeah, yeah, very excited about that. Um, I'll keep you all posted because uh, in our, you know, home buying process here, um, I will be getting a dedicated sewing room. I have one now. Yes, I'm very grateful for the space that I have now. Um, you all know, like our game room area, half of it is taken up by my cutting table and fabrics. And then um, the only thing that's in a separate room is the... Um, iron and board is in the room across the hall that's the only thing that's across the uh, across the hall but i want to reconfigure and organize things to went to where everything is in one room everything that is my goal that is my goal um and so yeah yeah so i'm gonna be very particular about um, buying fabrics and you know just buying um, things that take up space patterns I'm not so much concerned about that um, but you know things that might take up a tremendous amount of space and so um, so yeah I'm very excited about that so that may change the dynamics of how sewing the sewing channel progresses throughout the year there you know obviously it's going to come to a point where I'm just I, I won't be able to uh, upload videos. I'll probably try to prep as many videos in advance that I can have scheduled um, that's out there. Um, but, you know, those will be scheduled and that's put out there for when I'm not uploading any videos. So, yeah, it's that season. It's that time. And we're very, very super excited about it. So, all right, everybody. I think I have rambled on enough. Those are my sewing plans for 2022. Um, yeah, so make sure that you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to stay tuned for Sunday, which will be my first make of 2022. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, everybody. You all have a blessed, blessed, blessed rest of your week. And we will see you on Sunday. Bye.